Stray. 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 Lots of people are talking about it, so I wanna talk about it. Life lessons. Uy, mayong hapon. So I asked people from Facebook and Reddit the life lessons that they got from the game Stray. Some gave their good insights, and some wanted to make their answers funny and short. I would also contribute my own answer of the life lesson that I got from this game. So here's mine. The life lesson that I learned from Stray is that life can be unfair for other individuals sometimes. Not all of us will get what we want in life, but at the same time, life can give you what you need in life, or what you need for your purpose in life. The sacrifice of B12 is an example of this. You are my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. No! It's a little meow, it's gonna break my heart! Oh! B12, no! Sad. Well, at least that's what I learned from this game. Stray also taught me that being a cat is actually badass. So, here are the answers of the people from Reddit and Facebook. Hi guys. I have a question for those that finished the game Stray. What are the life lessons you learned from this game? Moral lessons, painful truths, any lessons. The story itself was very nuanced and well done. For me the ending is a parallel to our lives. A sense of loss, with the final, hopeful, goodbye a bittersweet tribute to our journey coming to an end but life going on without us, as he looks back and then fades away. That if there is a movable object and a sheer drop off an edge, cats will push things off for kicks. I don't know exactly what it did to me but it certainly was touching. I know now the feeling of why cats like to knock over things. Cat. It's okay to let go of the past, it's okay that things are temporary. Other things are always to come. That you can't catch me. Lesson is mad but is insane as well as the cat. Hyper dense housing is the only true way of urbanism. Can you even call your city a city if it doesn't have 70,000 people per square kilometer? Sometimes you have to be an asshole to move in life. Do not play this game if you have a hunting dog like a Parson Russell Terrier with you. It was so stressful managing a dog who was ready to jump on your precious monitor the minute you accidentally pushed the meow button. Incidentally, I wonder why there were no dogs in this world. I would think, omnivores seem to have a better chance surviving in post-apocalyptic world. Some games are just good without lessons. Just like how we used to play Space Impact. Just pure play. It made me adore cats more than I already do. Cat. Sacrifice yourself for cat. Protect cat cat. If the game makes you care for a stray, just means people should adopt a stray. Humans are a-holes. Friendship is important. That kind of friendship, the one that is pure. It's difficult with humans because our emotions interfere sometimes. But imagine having someone like this cat or B12, or Clementine in your life. The foreigners, it's not only about the dream of going out. It's about the support of the group and the sacrifices they made for the rest. That kind of friendship is difficult to find these days. I know it's utopic, but I wish I have something similar. Or that I don't have good friends thought. It's the smallest things that can make you appreciate life the last part I think it is coming out of that shadow nutshell. It may not be easy but there is something great out there. Zerks are the Apollo 10. Don't let them eat you. Stand and fight on what you believe. That rushing through the game, speeding through the parts I truly love, and missing the trophy for completing the game in 2 hours, by less than 13 minutes, is not worth attempting again. Next time I play through I will go slow and enjoy it again. I need to go outside. Always have a heart for stray dogs, cats, etc. Get good. Cat. The beauty and tragedy of change. Beauty you find out throughout B12 that the companion robots act differently than they used to. Like that changed or evolved somehow. 
They mimic humans and can even ingest things they weren't meant to, based off a memory for B12 in the slums. The life they live changed around them and the companion robots made the best of it. Tragedy Zerks. They were first made to help with eating trash. But changed over time to this mass bacteria that eats everything. Causing the world at the bottom to die off with just them consuming and taking over. There's more that I took from the game but the theme of change seemed to be one of the many themes. IDK if I explained everything in the best way but I love the game. How about you? Do you have any life lessons you can share? Please comment them down below.